Welcome to our show, Barman Saturdays, and yeah, I decided to cover another one of these uh, old western movies with the Dawn Rider, which honestly I got bored with um, pretty quickly. Um, I think part of the problem is that some of the early sequences uh, are full of continuity errors, I got kind of caught up in uh, wondering how they managed to mess it up so bad. Um, like, there's a sequence after they shoot John Wayne's uh, father character in this movie, um... They're riding out of town. John Wayne shoots two of them off their horses. Like, bam, bam! Um, I know it's not really how a gun sounds, but, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is he shot two of them off their horses. Uh, five. We then cut, to, you know, back to the bandits run, riding away, you know, on their horses. And all of a sudden they're riding five abreast, like... Like, but he killed two of them already. Like, why are there five of them there? Then we know we cut back to him, you know, John Wayne's character, you know, trying to catch up and shoot at them from behind. They then, you know, pull off the side of the road, wait for him, so we see five of them there. They shoot back, hit him, he falls, you know, off his horse, but, you know, before he uh, passes out, you know, from his injuries, he manages to take off another guy while they're riding away, so they have four running away in total, there is a one shortcut where there's only three of them appearing, so it's just like, what's with all this continuity? Is there f there five five bandits? Is is there three bandits? Are, are there four bandits? Um, I, I know we get a sequence there that tries to, exp like, a, a dialogue scene that tries to explain what happened, it's just like, um, two of my buddies are dead, and just like, but we saw four right off, like, was one killed by another continuity at some point? Like, like, gosh darn it, movie. I, I can only s assume it's the result of them using lots of stock footage to save on having to, you know, record some actual new footage. Because Lone Star loves its stock footage. Very, very much. But, yeah, I, I kind of got hung up on that for way too long. Uh, and there's some of the stunts I did watch, you know, they've done in several of the other films, um, though... Which ones exactly? I, I couldn't tell you because I've watched way too many films over the years. They start to kind of blend together. Especially these Lone Star movies. Because like I said, I think I mentioned in Blue Steel, they, they like to reuse a lot of the same, you know, stunts over and over and over again, you know, for a quick turnaround on production here. So, yeah. I mean, if you've seen some of the other stuff I talked about, yeah, those, those stunts reappear here. But that continuity error, man, it, it's just so glaringly obvious. It smacks you in the face repeatedly. Um, but, yeah, this one does try, I guess, change things up a little bit by introducing uh, a love triangle eh, and betrayal between siblings and all kinds of stuff. So I guess it tries to be a bit more interesting story-wise, but it still has to try and fit that into, like, a 50-minute package. So how well it pulls that off is probably going to be rather relative. Now, Dan, 